Welcome back, Math Party people. So let's go ahead and get into part two of solving systems of equations, substitution, the basics of substitution. So my party people, remember, this is a progression here. Make sure you've watched part one, and then from there, here we're part two with the basics of substitution, and then after that, you'll tackle the worksheet. Again, if you're in the program or in the math course, you'll see that there's a worksheet right after, and then you have the speed drills that you can work on to raise that speed and confidence. So don't pass those without actually trying them out. I want you to build that confidence and speed. So this is part two now. Earlier in part one, what we noticed was we had ourselves problems like this, where we had the Y's already by themselves. And remember that with a system, these are the same. So if you say that Y equals that and Y equals this, then these two right here are equal to each other. And we were able to just say, hey, yeah, we'll just set these equal to each other and then solve and we're all good. But over here, let's go ahead and take a look here. This is a little different, right? Notice how we have a whole equation over here, but the y isn't by itself. But if you look down over here, the y is by itself. And so we can still use substitution here. Let me show you how. Remember, what we're saying right now is y equals 3x. y equals 3x. Remember that with a system of equations, you have two equations or more where the variables represent the same values. So if you have a Y over here and a Y over here, those Y's are the same. And so what I'm able to do is this, everybody. I'm able to rewrite this entire equation. I'm able to rewrite the entire thing. But what I can do is I can replace the Y with what it equals, the 3X. I can replace the Y with what it equals. That way, notice how we have two variables in one equation. We can't solve this for the number. So instead, what I'll do is I'll replace it. So let me go and write it down here. We have 2x plus 7y, which is the same thing as saying 3x. Again, this is y. That is y. We see it right here. y is 3x. We can substitute that in. That's why it's called substitution, because you're replacing it with what it, what, it, what it equals. And then from there we have negative 23. So again, just take a look here. What I've done is I've just replaced everything, the two X plus seven times the Y. The Y, I replaced it with three X, and now I can solve this because notice how we have one equation with one variable, which is just X. So there we go. We can go ahead and get this done now and then figure out what the answer is. So what I'll do next, is I'll go ahead and basically distribute right here or simplify whatever seven times three X is. So that's going to be two X plus seven times three is 21 X equals negative 23. So from here, what I notice is that I have like terms two X plus 21 X. That's going to give me 23 X. And so now I can solve for X. And my party people will divide both sides by 23. And what's that going to give us? Well, that's going to cancel out on the left side, giving me X equals negative one. Booyah. So we know that X is negative one. And remember when we write our answers, it's going to be X comma Y alphabetical order. So what we know so far is that our answer is negative one. And I don't know what Y is, but my party people look at your answer choices. The only answer that has negative one for the X is B. That's the only one that has it in there. But let's say that we didn't know that. Let's say we were trying to solve for Y instead. If we're trying to solve for Y, well, since we have X, take that X, plug it back into either equation and solve for the Y. I'm going to take a look at the second equation over here because this one is absolutely easier to deal with. So here I'm going to say Y equals. So again, what I'm doing is plugging this back in. Plug this back in to solve for what the Y is. So what we'll have is Y equals three times whatever X is. Remember that X is negative one. And so what's three times negative one? That's going to be Y equals negative three. And so that's why we'll plug in negative three right there. And again, that's why B is the answer. So hopefully this is starting to make a little more sense. My party people. Now this one was a little easy, right? Because we just plugged in three X. I want to go ahead and show you a slightly more different example 
but it's still going to be the same process, substitution. Let's take a look at 27. Hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on word problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're going to be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're going to get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, there are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description. That way you can keep raising your score and get the job you want because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up and then keep going watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. So if I take a look at 27, what I see here is we have 4x plus 2y equals 16. And over here we have y equals negative 4x plus 18. Notice again, y is equal to negative 4x plus 18. And over here, we have a y right there. I can replace this y. I can replace this y. I can replace it or substitute its value right here, negative 4x plus 18. Because again, y is negative 4x plus 18. So I can take that and substitute it in. And what we'll see is that it will be replace that with negative 4x plus 18. So let's go ahead and get to work here, my party people. I'm going to show you how this really works. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. I'm going to rewrite this as 4x right over here plus 2y. So plus 2 times whatever y is. And we just saw that y is negative 4x plus 18. And that's going to equal 16. So again, I just rewrote that top equation just replacing y with its equivalent value, that negative 4x plus 18. And now what my job is, is to solve that equation, get my x value, and if I need to, plug it back in to find out what y is. This is the art of solving a system by substitution, my party people, just like that. So with here, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and distribute. That way we can you know, basically simplify this, solving it just like an equation. This is a multi-step equation. We still got this though. So we'll have 4x and then 2 times negative 4. That's going to be negative 8x. And then 2 times positive 18. That's going to be positive 36. That's going to equal 16. Next up, let's combine our like terms. I see that we have 4x minus 8x. So that's going to give me negative 4x. So negative 4x plus 36 equals 16. My next step is going to be to subtract 36 from both sides. Once I do that, I see that I'll have negative 4x equals, that's going to cancel out right there, and 16 minus 36. You can think of that as 36 minus 16, which is 20. But it's going to be negative 20 because you're subtracting more than what you have. So right over here, we have this is going to be equal to negative 20. So my last step that I'll take my party people is going to be dividing both sides by negative four, right there, canceling out the four and the negative, giving you x equals positive five. So x equals positive five. If you look at your answer choices, b can't be the answer, c can't be the answer, because again, these are the x values. And so no, it can't be b or c, it's gonna be a or d. So I don't know what y is yet, but I'm going to have to plug it in to figure out what it is because I don't know what it is. And both answers A and D include X as five. So it's one or the other. Just got to find out which it is. So here again, plug this back in. Plug back in. And so I'll go ahead and take this second equation here and I'll plug it back in. Again, either one will work. You can plug it into either and solve and you'll be fine. So I'll take it into the second one. Y equals negative four X plus 18. I'll plug that back in. So x equals 5 right over here. So plug that in right there. y equals negative 4 
times 5 plus 18. So negative 4 times 5, that's going to give you negative 20. And then negative 20 plus 18, that gives you y equals negative 2. So here we have y equals negative 2. And so my final answer will be x is 5 and y is negative 2. And that's why a would be the answer. Because we have 5 and negative 2. And so my part of you go, look, I hope you're really seeing this as something that is procedural. If you notice that you have one of the uh, variables already by itself, plug it back into the other equation. Plug its value into the other equation. That way you're dealing with one variable, not two. And that way you can solve. So let's go ahead and check out a couple more examples here. I'll do number 28 with us. And then I'll do number 29. And then up next, what you're going to do is you're going to work on that worksheet, work on those speed drills, and keep the party going. I got your back, man. Let's go. So here, we have 6x plus 2y equals 6, and y is equal to 4x plus 10. So this y, remember, and this y are the same y's. So I'm going to replace that y up top with 4x plus 10. Because again, this is an equation. That's saying y is 4x plus 10. So I'm going to replace this y with 4x plus 10. Just make sure to use the parentheses so that way you're taking the entirety of what it is and not accidentally only multiplying one number, but you have to distribute to both. Here's what I mean. If when I go ahead and replace the 4x plus 10 in there, this will be 6x plus 2 times 4x plus 10. Notice how if you don't use a parentheses, it looks like you're just multiplying the 2 by 4x. No, you need to multiply by the entire y. Again, that's the entire y, so you have to use a parentheses here. You have to use a parentheses to make that make sense. And that's going to equal 6, as we saw. So now, let's go ahead from there, distribute, and solve this bad boy, and we're good. So distribute the 2 to both of those terms on the inside. 6x plus 2 times 4 is 8x. 2 times 10 is 20 equals 6. And now from here, combine those like terms. We have 6x plus 8x. That's going to give us 14x plus 20 equals 6. And from here, we'll just solve as normal. We've been used to this. We've been doing this all day. Let's solve this equation. Subtract 20 on both sides. That's going to cancel out. And that'll be 14x equals negative 14. The last thing I'll do here is divide both sides by 14. And that's going to give me right there x equals negative 1. And booyah, all good. I feel pretty good about that. That is a negative 1 for the x. But what one thing I noticed is that, hey, look, answer b, c, and d all have negative 1 for x. Okay, so now I'm going to have to do a little bit of extra work. Plug that x value back in, solve for y, and keep going. So again, the answer can't be a because a is or x is not negative 6. So let's plug that back in. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'll have the y equals 4x plus 10. And what I'll do is I'll plug in x as negative 1 because that's what x is. So here we go. y equals 4 times negative 1 right over here plus 10. And so 4 times negative 1, what will that give us? That will give us negative 4. And negative 4 plus 10 is positive 6. Booyah. So we have our y value right there is 6. And so my official answer is going to be negative 1 and 6, which is answer choice B. And we're all good. And so I really hope you're seeing this as doable, my party people. I hope you see this as absolutely possible. Look, the, the idea with substitution is you are substituting or replacing the value of one variable with its equivalent. And then from there you solve. So let's take a look at number 29 as this last example, and we'll move forward from there, man. We'll move forward from there. Look, if you're frustrated about raising your score right now, if you feel like you're studying, but you're not exactly remembering what you're supposed to, or suffer from test anxiety and blank on word problems a lot, then go ahead and text me directly. Here's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. I have a full program that's gonna help you succeed. So go ahead and shoot me a text and say, hey coach, I wanna learn more about the program. And I'll go ahead and explain how all of it works that way you can stress less about this test and list with the job you want and possibly get that bonus check too. And so with that said, go ahead, 
Shoot me a text. Let's learn more about it. And let's get you in the right position to succeed. Let's keep going. So we have 6x plus 4y equals 2. y equals negative 3x plus 2. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this y up top with 3x, negative 3x plus 2. Again, this equals negative 3x plus 2. So let's go ahead and replace that right over here. 6x plus 4 times y. And again, y is negative 3x plus 2. And that's going to equal 2. So from here, let's distribute and let's solve and we're good. 4 times negative 3, x and 4 times 2. So we'll have ourselves 6x and then we have 4 times negative 3x. So it's going to be negative 12x. And then we have 4 times 2. That's going to be 8. And that equals 2. So from there, what we're going to do, my party people, combine like terms. I see that we have 6x minus 12x. So that's going to be negative 6x. Negative 6x plus 8 equals 2. And what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and subtract 8 on both sides. So subtract 8 here, subtract 8 there, subtract 8 everywhere. And so with that, that cancels out and we have ourselves negative 6x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 6. And we have ourselves x equals positive 1. So now that we know that x equals positive 1, when you look at the answers that would be possibly correct, it would be B right over here, C, and D. There's no way that it can be A. X is positive 1, not negative 1. And so what we'll do again is we'll plug it back in to find out what Y is. Plug back in. And so what we'll do is I'll grab either equation. They're both fine. What I'll do in this case, just it's going to be a little more steps, but that's fine. I'm going to take this first one because I'm going to show you either equation works. So here we have 6 times X, which is positive 1. Again, I'm copying this one here plus 4y equals 2. Okay, so 6 times 1 is going to be 6. And from here, well, I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. From there, cancel that there. And we have 4y equals negative 4. From here, divide both sides by 4, and we're done. We get ourselves y equals negative 1. So my answer would be positive 1, negative 1. x is 1, y is negative 1, and that's why option B is the correct answer. Right there. And so look, it looks like a lot of work, my part of people, but you've prepared for this up to this point. You've been solving equations left and right. You know how to do this. And so I want to make sure that you have this confidence set up, because up next, what you're going to do is you're going to practice the basics of using substitution for systems of equations, and then moving forward after that, you're going to look at that speed drill. Then you're going to come back over here and we're going to get into part two of substitution, where we're looking at cases where we actually have to move things around, rearrange things to, to actually see what we're supposed to do. Because remember, this is, these are the basics. We're going to get into the medium up next. Then we're going to look at the other type of solution, which is by using elimination. So right now we're using substitution. There's elimination, and we also have word problems coming up as well. So let's go ahead and look forward to it. Let's have a good time, my party people, and let's go ahead and get that score you want. I'll see you in the next video.